There is nothing that quite gets the adrenaline going in a big game, the end of the national anthem, and now the temperature is starting to rise in here. We have a few more picks, one in the SEC tonight. Auburn hasn't won in Baton Rouge since 1999. Mm. Bayou Bengals or Auburn Tigers? They won't win tonight either. I like what I'm seeing out of LSU. Max Johnson is starting to really develop a rhythm offensively, so I'm going with LSU. LSU, Baton Rouge is one of the best away games I've ever been to. It's a yeah. night game tonight. LSU is not losing today. Harris, you've been looking at my cheat. <laughs> not so fast as you. Hey, LSU has won 10 straight against Auburn in Baton Rouge. LSU. I want to see how Bo Nix plays in this game. I think he's going to get the start. How well can he play? Can he avoid turning it over and dealing with all the adversity that Death Valley has to offer? And then the LSU Tiger defense has got to play better. Play with some pride, especially at home against Tank uh, Bixby and Bo Nix. All right, so look at all of the LSU up there, and the fans say Auburn, 55%. Uh, of Florida has owned Lexington, Kentucky. Do they do it again tonight? It will continue to tonight because they can run the ball. One of the best in the nation, number three in the nation, running the ball, 320 yards a game. I'm going with the Gators. I'm, uh, I'm on Kentucky. I've played with uh, Coach Stoops in a pro-am. Awesome guy. Love Lexington. I'm looking for them to pull the upset right here. I thought you were going to win this thing until then. <laughs> bad pick, bad pick. Florida, Florida. But Mark Stoops, I mean, he's right there with no, Florida no, every Florida. single year. He's beaten them one time. It's going to be a competitive game. My concern with Kentucky is that they take care of the football. Minus nine in turnover margin. I think Florida's defense is the difference in the game, along with Emory Jones taking care of the ball. I like the Gators to win a close one. And this afternoon in Bryant-Denny, Kiffin against Saban, Matt Corral against Bryce Young, Ole Miss or Alabama. I think this game comes down to Bill O'Brien versus DJ, DJ Durkin. I think those two coordinators are going to determine who wins this game, and I think that Alabama is going to win a close one, like I give it to the Tide. I like Alabama here. I know T-Town's going to be rocking today. Nick Saban's, I don't think, ever lost an assistant coach, so I think he's going to keep it going today and Bama on top. Alabama, good pick. Alabama, real close. Take the over at 80. <laughs> Alabama. See, I don't think you take the over. I think Alabama's defense makes adjustments from last year where they gave up over 600 yards to this Ole Miss offense. Look for more of a conservative approach. They were way too complex, did too much a year ago. This year, they sit back in zone, keep everything in front of them. I think they played very well on that side of the ball. And then I think Bryce Young. No one's talked about Bryce Young all week. He's going to have a big day today throwing the ball. Cincinnati, Alabama scores 90. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. Cincinnati and Notre Dame played for the first time since 1900 when Kirk's favorite historical player, Pat O'Day, had become head coach yeah. of the Irish. Yeah. That was 58 nothing Notre Dame. Much closer today. Who wins it? 100% much closer. You know, I, I want to say Cincinnati. I love Luke Fickle, Desmond Ritter, but it's just something about Notre Dame. They find ways to win games. I think at home, they're going to find a way to win a close one. I got to go Notre Dame. I agree, Desmond. Um, I went to the Georgia Notre Dame game a few years ago. I, I saw firsthand how hard it was to play in South Bend, and I, I like Notre Dame here. I'm telling you, you're going to win this thing. If it wasn't <laughs> for the Kentucky pick, you'd win it. <laughs> Luck of the Irish. Luck of the Irish will, will be tested today because I think their offensive line is a legitimate concern. I think today, Luke Fickle's defense, all, Marcus Freeman's the defense coordinator last year at Cincinnati. Now he's in South Bend. I think the story will be the Cincinnati defense. The, they are going to mix it up, confuse Notre Dame's offensive line, close game. The difference is the Bearcats defense and UC pulls off the upset. And that would really put them in good stead to I guess be able to. Upset. They're favorite. Yeah, yeah they're, they're slight favorite. favorite. It feels like an upset. It feels like it yeah. because it would put them in college football playoff consideration. Not that they aren't already, but they need that signature win. Much like Arkansas is looking for today. We wonder what the gap is between the elite and the rest of the field. Well, today is going to help tell us. Arkansas with their two deep guys of super seniors and scrappy guys against Georgia's roster full of five stars eager to have Arkansas turn off that jukebox. Coming out here with a statement, just knowing that we're the number two team in the nation. So we got to set a standard out there. And we've been counted out many times, and now we just Proving everybody wrong. Somebody trying to come after you and they're going to give you your, their best. You need to make sure SEC teams feel you. They need to feel you. Yeah, I feel like all the pressure's on Georgia. We're ranked at eight, so we just want to keep climbing up the ladder. The odds are stacked against us. That's just how we want it, man. That's just how we like it. Coming in this Saturday, we're going to try to shock the world. 
All right, no pick from Herbie. He's going to go join Fowler and call the game shortly. You are picking. Who wins? I tell you what, I was really confident when JT Daniels was the starter. I like Stetson Bennett. I think he's, he can manage an offense, but this defense is one of the best. It's like college football version of the 85 Bears right now. So I got to go with the Georgia Bulldogs. I like it, Desmond. They just played the battle hymn here. Uh, this crowd is rocking for a noon game. Uh, I think we're ready to go. And Kirby said this team needs to be elite, and this is a game they have to win, so I'm going with the dogs. Great pick, great pick. Where's Uga? I, I don't think they didn't bring Uga up Uga here. not here? No, Uga's not here. He let me, here. Ju let me talk to Uga anyhow. Uga, did you know that your offense in the last three games is averaging 52 points a game? Yeah. Where's Uga? Uga, did you know your defense is the number one scoring defense in America? Yeah. Uga, did you know you're a 19 point favorite? I'm going with Uga's team. Give me that. Okay. There he is. 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 There Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.